Well, here we are. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> uh, look at the address. Unfortunately, I have not actually signed the papers on it. I have not bought the car. I'm actually just test driving it currently, but an extended test drive, if you call it that. They told me that I can have up to as literally as just as long as I want to with the car. With that being said, though, um, everybody at Six Media at the office has no idea that I just picked this car up. I'm pulling back into town now, and I'm going to go show them the car and see what they think about it. I'm not, I'm not sure what their reactions are going to be, but the car in person is just like, it's incredible. It really is. I'll show you guys whenever we get out what the thing looks like. It, it's, <laughs> I don't know. I've never had a car put such a smile on my face before. It's, it's incredible. It really is. It's, oh my God. How are you liking Nick? <laughs> Can I rev it? <laughs> oh my God. Now rev it. Listen. Now rev it. Oh. That's, that's the, uh, that's the normal mode. See how it's notchy and snaps yep. into place? That's, that's uh, a good one. The Coyote Trans, the MT82 is, it's a nice trans because it's really smooth, but it's not, it's not notchy and snappy. This is like a, it reminds me of like an actual race car. <laughs> craziest part about it watch so you, you we're in sport mode right now I'm gonna swap it to comfort mode pretty smooth oh yeah very very smooth I was expecting like the, the so watch lurch. watch that was that whole puddle I'm gonna hit this bump too like, I'm gonna hit this one this is a bad one <laughs> like this is a very this bad one this is a bad one this rattles the yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying it's weird it, it just it rides completely smooth Because of that, there's like trade-offs. It's a wet, really, really well-balanced engine, which is why it can rev so high. And it, you've got a very extensive power band because of that, which means that you can basically- It feels on more top-end. Right, right. So list. it has very little bit low-end torque, but up top is where it really starts picking up and climbing in the torque is over a, about 5,000 RPM, 4,000 RPM or so. It's just interesting that it's a completely stock car. It's, it's the most impressive stock car I've ever been in. Mm -hmm. Now here comes the part that you're probably not going to like, but you'll probably just have to trust me. <laughs> this is the kind of fast I like. Look like you're handling the 
fast you're going. So yeah, I know it's not easy at all. I, like it's not even easy. Well, that's what's the weird thing oh is that, God. like, you definitely have to take control of it because it tries to take you everywhere. Because the car is like, it's hard to explain, but it's like a point and shoot type car. You aim it where you want to go, and it's gonna go. Like regardless of what you have to say about it, it's going there. So you gotta just hold on for dear life and just let it do it. close to a traditional Mustang it's it handles like a Euro yes it's like they tried to make this car into the most raw crazy track monster that they could and they succeeded <laughs> I gotta say I, under, I underestimated it. me too me too I've I never thought, thought that there were anything special I really anything thought cool they were just you know overhyped Mustangs but just right there yep so you can see everything just to make sure that you're not overheating anything you can watch all your temperatures and make sure nothing's getting too hot while you're racing around the track and even better is that the entire car has oil coolers all around it so the engine oil it's really hard to overheat because it's got coolers the trans temp is really hard to get too high because it's got a transmission cooler the fluid in the rear diff has a cooler on it so that way it can't overheat the rear diff like it's just so many things that they thought of whenever they were engineering this car it's honestly incredible this is a cruise country it is. Like, this is something you take from LA to New York. Perfectly fine, yeah. And don't even worry about it. I hear I hear GT, Shelby Cobra, and I think this is straight line muscle, and I get in it, and it's nimble. Yep. Damn it, it is nimble. Cheers. Cheers to that. Damn, dude. Thanks for the ride. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This is a great family car. Bring your kids to school <laughs> in less than two minutes. Doesn't matter where you live. <laughs> and there's Poe. He hasn't seen it yet. Oh yeah, I forgot. Hola. <laughs> Hola. This thing is six on wheels. It's so much prettier in person. Like that color just pops. It is, I know. Especially since it's like somewhat overcast. It looks literally like a gem right now. Yeah. We've got Mr. Unimpressed himself. And he, just from looking at it, keeps telling me that this is like definitely the right choice and I need to get it and blah, blah, blah. I told him I would take him for a ride like me and Nick just did and I would show him what the car is really about because you don't really get the full experience until you go do stuff like this. the video on the Z28 and this Versus car the yeah how they both have the same peak horsepower but the Z28 made almost like 80 to 100 more torque all the way through the power curve whereas you can tell this one it's like like yeah we're going fast but like there's not really much gut to it it's but it's still just super it's, smooth I'm curious to see what the uh, what causes the oil consumption <laughs> the oil consumption I need to beat the f out of this thing. <laughs> but like, this one, I'm just 
Slaps like. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta yeah, slap the that's shit that's out like of it. The, that's the best way I've ever heard somebody describe a core. Send it, send if it. You, yeah, you need to go to start with autocross because you can take turns in this course specifically. You'll take some turns going 60 or 70 in a parking lot. That's fast for a parking lot. Oh, yeah. So it's you, uh, the you'll be able thing. to push it hard without being scared to break it. I could really get used to that. Oh my gosh, this car. I don't even know what to say, honestly. This thing is incredible. I've spent the majority of the day today driving this thing around in between being at the shop, here at the office, and everything like that, and it's honestly just insane. I have never, ever in my life had an experience in a car that has been matched to this one right here. This car is honestly amazing. It's really hard to say this, but it is very close to perfect in my eyes. There's not much that I really dislike about it except for a few things. First off, if you guys have ever seen inside my my car I've got a very very huge radio this is a track pack car so it unfortunately does not have that big radio which is not really a problem but it is really nice to have in a daily driver also this car being that it has the Recaro seats does not have the heated and cooled seats which are a really really nice option for um, a daily driver but I really enjoy them a lot actually so I've kind of overcame that uh, that want for the air conditioned and heated seats um, it also doesn't have the really nice shaker sound system that comes in my car it's actually just the base model speakers so I'm not completely 100% sold on the idea of getting the car, but it's definitely it's it's definitely there for me It really is. It's such an amazing car. I, I really don't have that many complaints about it um, I've read reviews about them and everything and everybody that I've seen absolutely loves them It's really got me leaning towards getting it. It really 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 does but um, see what I decide to do But so far so good. I'm gonna keep looking and keep uh, keep driving this car and see if I fall in love with it But so far I really have so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next video this is a reminder, I'm the best you haven't heard yet I'm subbing in and going over shit you haven't learned yet A new professor, this is two semesters and a lesson My students knew this shit, I'm doing worse than I expected Back to chapter one, that's the basics You cannot escape this, you stuck inside the matrix Out in Hollywood, getting chased by some agents